Hell of a thing. TLC singer T Boz um, says that she was racially profiled at a restaurant. Here's part of it. Hey everybody, okay, so I just came from the airport, so you know, flying all day, I'm tired. We come to Northbrook, Illinois to Ruth Chris, okay? Now, I got on a hat because, like I said, I'm tired and been traveling all day. So my hair is not combed, I'm not gonna take off my hat. So we come, the hostess don't say anything. All these huddle of waitress don't say anything. We get set down, we get bread, water, order our uh, food. And then all of a sudden, 20 minutes in, the manager comes and says that I have to take off my hat. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. So she's like, you gotta sit at the bar. I don't drink, I don't mind sitting at the bar, but we're comfortable, I'm already tired, I don't wanna play musical chairs. But then I look behind me, it's two black guys with hats and tank tops. And she said they were told, but they already ate their whole meal. And they're paying for their food, sitting in the same place. But you want me to get up, huh? No. So I just said, F them, and got up. Because cause the lady started getting an attitude with, who she get attitude with? Me. OK. Because asking a logic question, logical question, which I said, ma'am, he's not getting hostile. I know you got into it with the other table, but don't come over here getting smart with us, Miss Ruth Chris, because, or hostess at Ruth Chris. Don't be getting mad at us because you mad at the black guys that you said were supposed to take off. I said, well, it seemed like you need to do a readjustment with all your hostesses and waitresses in the whole restaurant because every last single one of them, don't they know the rules? Because I don't know what sign you're talking about because can't nobody damn see it. And every god daggone waitress, hostess, everybody seen me with this hat. So now you want to come in and, and, and uh, with an attitude on some bull. And then didn't come back to tell us that, you know, the bar area was full where you're supposed to sit. So where the fuck you want me to eat on the floor? All right. And there was an update provided to this by T-Boss. Here it is. My, my thing is, I don't have a problem with rules, following it, whatever, but it's how you do things, too. But if somebody would have said that, we would have went and did it in the first place. But then, um, why did she... Even though they was told to take off the hat, they didn't. They served them, took their money, and gave them a check. They didn't kick their ass out. But that's what they were supposed to do if they didn't abide by the rules. Hmm. So, come to find out, Shaggy's crew, my crew, everybody's crew look like they sitting in the master section. Why is all the black people sitting in this section? And then he got a hat that said, and he's over there. So, my whole thing is, is everybody said they felt some weird vibes at this Ruth Chris. So, seems like all the employees need a little bit of talking to, even the ones running it, because they ain't running it right, honey. And if somebody's getting away with sitting away, you still serve them and take their money. If they didn't buy by the rules, you ain't kicking them out. Don't come over there talking to me. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Yep, put it up full mass. So my law professor would say, number one, unequal application of the policy. Number two, when you had a restaurant that the public can come to, you have something called a public accommodations dynamic and you must accommodate everyone based on the equal application of whatever rule or policy you may have in order to be served. It could be a violation here. Now, T. Boz's comments about the steakhouse location in North Brook garnered attention on social media. Quote, the way the manager at North Brook treated T. Boz, I would have rated you all and a zero if possible. Wrote one person who gave the restaurant a one of five rating on Google reviews. So the steakhouse chain has a first time visitor's guide that addresses wearing headgear. This is a side of the restaurant. Quote, if you're sporting a hat or a team support jersey, we welcome you to wear them in our bar and outdoor areas. However, we do request that guests remove their hats upon entering other dining areas, reads a note on the website. As of press time, uh, Ruth Chris, Steakhouse has not responded to T-Boz. A representative at the company is likely now aware of the singer's racial profiling accusations because the official uh, Instagram account has been hit with a whole lot of damn comments. And let me just say this. I don't know why 
They're picking on my girlfriend since 1995, T-Boss. But when I saw this, I said, T-Boss don't bother anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, she had her back in the day. You know, everybody goes through a lover's quarrel. That's behind her now. But T-Boss has literally been going around the country and abroad, singing, performing, and doing charity work year after year. So naturally, this is something that came out of left field because T-Boss really doesn't do these types of posts. So I do believe there's some there there. Definitely seems to be unequal application of the policy. Could be an employee dynamic. But naturally, when you have individuals sitting right next to you who, well, they were not following the same rule, seems like that needs to be taken up with management and not a customer. What say you, Sharon? You're absolutely right. I spent not one day in law school, but I rocked with T-Boz. I knew before that I was going to support her regardless. <laughs> right. I, You know how I am with these kind of things, Doc. I believe I know what happened. The brothers rejected their the hostess. She wanted to rock with the brothers, and they said no. And uh, that's why they said nothing about their hat. And then she was mad and tried to attack every other Black person who had a, a hat on. I rock with t Boss, okay? And um, they can keep their stake, apparently. Yeah, well, uh, the PR nightmare this has caused over what could have <laughs> been uh, an administrative wow. remedy on the day of... Why? Wasn't worth it. Just yeah. wasn't worth it. All right. We'll bring you updates as they come.